you start noticing that there is noise when you walk, then there is noise when you wash your hands, you hear it again and it reminds you of how life is actually normal. It is these trivial sounds that become again part of your normal life. That reminds you how things are working normally for uh, when you heard before. He was a very memorable patient and he was also our first patient that was implanted with a metal device and so um, I really remember his story. I lost my hearing 30 years ago and I regained it back 20 years ago. I first saw him in 1996, but about 10 years prior to that, he was traveling in Europe uh, for work in Croatia, which is um, where he's from originally. And um, he was involved in a very severe motor vehicle accident uh, with life-threatening injuries, was hospitalized and treated, um, and part of his treatment was with antibiotics. And we know now that those antibiotics can um, affect the hearing organ, um, causing significant damage. And so they were able to save his life, but in the process he did uh, lose most of his hearing. At that time we had this relatively new technology called cochlear implant. And a cochlear implant is a device that bypasses the inner ear and directly stimulates the hearing nerve and um, allows people to hear and communicate again. And so um, that was a device that we considered for him. And after a long uh, time of evaluating and discussing the options, he did decide to proceed with the cochlear implant. In those days, we expected enhanced lip reading, perhaps uh, identification of male or female voices, and maybe some sound awareness and quiet. I never in my wildest dreams expected somebody would be able to have a full conversation with me, even with their back turned to me occasionally, with background noise. Technology has progressed tremendously over the last 20 years. And so uh, Mr. Zerga was uh, our first uh, person who was implanted with the Medell device, which at that time was fairly new in the U.S. Um, Medell is one of the oldest cochlear implant companies, um, but it was new to the U.S. at that time in the 1980s, where um, we had patients who were losing their hearing or in a situation like Mr. Zerga, and there was nothing we could do. You know, there was really no medical treatment, um, hearing aids didn't help, and so patients were left in a world of isolation. This technology has changed the world for these people, and it's changed what my practice is. This is a significant part of my practice, and it's my favorite part of my practice to be able to give people the gift of hearing. The first thing when I was switched on, um, I was able to make a phone call to my mom. That was all very, very amazing. Mr. Zurga's processor has been replaced. So um, before he came here, he was using an old processor that was a large box that was worn on the body. And now the appearance of the implants is so much different because uh, the external device um, can even be just a disc that fits over um, the magnet. Uh, that sits behind the ear, or a small device that fits behind the ears. With the Medel product, we don't want to ever leave our patients behind. And so we, whenever we come out with new external products, we make it backwards compatible. So patients who were implanted 20 years ago can use the newest external technology today. So Mr. Serga started with a body-worn device that was the size of about a cigarette box with a cable that went up to behind his ear to now where he wears a device that's completely behind his ear with a small coil and better battery life. We want to bring our patients forward.